All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're making a quick midweek meal, some fettuccine using some leftover pork from last week's recipe, chili, garlic, capers. Guys, this is absolutely delicious and super quick to do. So come on, let's get into it. Okay, to kick things off, I've got a large saucepan of boiling water here. We want to add a good pinch of salt. Once that's rapidly boiling, let's get the fettuccine in, and that's going to take between seven and 10 minutes to cook. Next, we need to get a small pan on a nice medium gentle heat. And I'm going to add a really good glug of olive oil, so enough to cover the bottom of the pan. And the reason we do that, guys, is we're not going to have a sauce to coat the pasta. We're going to use that oil almost like a dressing to coat it. So we need enough oil in there to make sure that that pasta gets completely coated in this wonderful flavored oil which we're going to make. So let's add in a really good pinch of red pepper flakes or red chili flakes. And I've also got probably two or three cloves of garlic as well which are finely chopped up. As they come up to temperature and start to sizzle, we can add our pork. Now the pork, that's the leftover pork from last week's video. And all I've done is chop that up into a really, really fine dice because again, the beauty of this dish or what we're trying to do with this dish is that you have this wonderful pasta and you get all these little flavor explosions clinging to it. So the garlic, the capers, the, the pork, the chili, ah, all that good stuff. I'm also gonna add a good pinch of salt and we're gonna cook that out for maybe two or three minutes just keep that on a nice gentle heat. You might get some nice caramelization coming on the pork, but we really do not want that garlic to burn. Okay, that looks great. The pasta's cooked. So using your tongs, let's grab some of that fettuccine and we want that to have some of that cooking water as well. Now let's get that into the pan with that water. Let's give that a really good mix together. And now we can finish that off with some flat leaf parsley and about two teaspoons of chopped capers. Now let's give that a really good mix again. And then last of all, let's grate over some fresh Parmesan. This is the type of pasta I absolutely love. I, I, you know, I love, I love all those kind of like really meaty ragouts, but I also love things like this, which are just so light, fresh, quick, um, and just packed full of flavour. So, oh my word. Mm. Mm. So good, guys. Oh, so good. You, you know, there's so much flavor going on. And you, you, look, I mean, you can see, I mean, that's what we want. We want everything just completely coated. So you look at how little stuff is on that pasta and how much flavor you get on there. Knockout. Absolute knockout. Anyway, guys. Give us a thumbs up, get in the comments, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you next week. Fingers crossed, if it's sunny, let's fire up the smoker. I really, I've, I've got all of this um, Californian red oak, which I brought back from Paso Robles with me. I'm like, come on, let's cook with it. I want to fire up the smoker and, uh, or you know, do some barbecuing, whatever. Anyway, see you next week, guys. Take care, bye-bye.